ProPilot employs important safety features, many of which are not available on any other autopilot. While the autopilot has advanced capabilities and great performance, it's the safety features that really set it apart. Let's take a look. Early in TRIO's history, we pioneered the automatic 180 degree turn in an effort to prevent fatalities occurring from unintentional entry into marginal weather conditions. Consider a situation where a flight is being conducted without the autopilot engaged. The pilot might be flying at night or preoccupied studying a map when the weather deteriorates and visual flight conditions are lost. The pilot may become disoriented and cannot properly control the aircraft. If the aircraft is equipped with a ProPilot, the pilot needs only to press either the HNAV or VNAV button and hold it for three seconds. While the button is pressed, the autopilot will use the GPS signal to determine the course over the ground. It will then turn on both servos, level the wings, enter altitude hold, and do a 180 degree course reversal back to hopefully better weather. Pressing the HNAV button will result in a left turn. Pressing the VNAV button will cause the aircraft to turn right. This feature has been credited with saving many lives. An autopilot must never be allowed to control the elevator in a manner that results in excessive g-forces on the airframe. The ProPilot employs internal accelerometers that monitor g-forces, and if it detects any force that exceeds about plus or minus 1 g above normal gravity, it will sound an alarm and disconnect the vertical servo. It will tolerate transient g-forces that are encountered in normal turbulence unless it experiences multiple excursions above about 3.5 g's over a 7 to 8 second period. If this occurs, an autopilot should not be controlling the elevator, and it will sound an alarm and disconnect the servo so that the pilot has full control of the elevator. In a previous video, we learned about the track offset feature as a means to separate your aircraft from other traffic when flying on busy airways. These days, with many aircraft using autopilots and GPS, it's not unusual to have close encounters with other aircraft on a published airway. This is especially true when climbing or descending through cardinal altitudes. The ProPilot can be commanded to provide a track offset position up to three nautical miles away from the center line while continuing to navigate to the final destination. Accidents have been reported when takeoff is attempted with the autopilot servos engaged. Once the aircraft engine has been started, many checklists require an autopilot check that includes engaging the system and testing the controls to be sure the pilot can overcome the servo forces with moderate control stick pressure. If the pilot forgets to disengage the servos prior to takeoff, the control pressures can be disorienting when attempting to rotate the aircraft. For this reason, the ProPilot monitors airspeed and, if it detects the servos are engaged, it will automatically disconnect them when the airspeed rises above 25 knots. This completely frees the control for a normal takeoff and climb. The ProPilot is capable of commanding the aircraft to climb and descend at rates up to 2,000 feet per minute. It's therefore necessary to assure that the system cannot stall or overspeed the aircraft, even if a pilot enters a command that would precipitate such an event. The autopilot senses airspeed from the aircraft pitot system and allows the pilot to set minimum and maximum airspeed limits in a configuration menu to assure that the airplane will operate in a safe flight regime when the autopilot is controlling the airplane. This prevents stalling in a climb or overspeeding in a descent. In a steep climb, when the airspeed drops to the minimum airspeed limit, the ProPilot will lower the nose of the aircraft and continue the climb at that speed. Likewise, in a descent, if the airspeed exceeds the set limit, the ProPilot will raise the nose and continue the descent at the maximum airspeed limit. 
One of the most critical components in an autopilot system is the servo. It connects directly to the aircraft controls, so safety and reliability are extremely important. TRIO's gold standard servos stand apart from the crowd of stepper motor servos that are often used on experimental and LSA autopilots. The servo is driven by a linear motor and has a proven clutch system that allows a pilot to easily overcome the servo force in an emergency. Importantly, when the servo is disengaged, the gears are released and there is no drag from the motor or gears inflicted on the aircraft controls. It does not rely on shear pins. The gold standard servo contains two microprocessors, one of which listens to all communication in the system and if it detects an error it will immediately disconnect the servo and send an alarm to the control head. Its inherent intelligence gives it full authority to disconnect itself from the controls if it senses anything that deviates from normal operations. It monitors motor driver currents and temperatures, both servo and auto trim, as well as short and open motor circuits. It evaluates crank arm positions and will disconnect and alert the pilot in any abnormal circumstance, such as extreme elevator or aileron positions. It obeys the G-force limitations dictated by the control electronics and it will disconnect itself if it detects a communications error. The servo also sends a message to the control head when it detects clutch slippage. We like to say that the gold standard servo borders on being paranoid about your safety.